Good morning. Today we're going to talk about QImage Ultimate and its new database and search engines. This is absolutely fantastic. Certainly is for me. I forget where I put everything. Okay, let's get right to it because there's a lot of information to cover. It's not difficult stuff, but there's so much in it that you're going to want to see it all. All right, let's start at the beginning. I've got a memory card plugged into my card reader, like I just came back from taking pictures, and I click on flashcard copy move, and naturally it picks up the images that are on the card, and then I tell it where to go. Okay, I'm making folders called Emerson 11, 12, 20, 13. Okay, this stays the same. That's our two folder. That's my hierarchy. I have C colon backslash pictures, and below that I've got dozens and dozens of subfolders with pictures in it. But that's not the point at this screen. At this screen, I want to show you here where you can add in a description. You can type in cloudy day or uh, water or you know something like that waterfront anything you want that describes the pictures that you shot today okay now on this side it's the creator well that's kind of a odd thing to say but here's what it's for let's say you and your wife went out picture taken okay and she has her camera you have your camera but you went to the together to this waterfront and you want to put all the pictures in the same folder okay so on your card from your camera you type in John and when you put the card in from her camera you type Mary and that way you can s keep them separate in the sense that when you do a search you can search for Mary's pictures and not John's or vice versa okay we're going to just get that off of there. We'll close this up like that. And we're done with that phase. Okay, coming up to the next phase. Okay, now we have to deal with something we call tag words or keywords, whichever phrase you prefer. The keywords, as I just showed you, go into that box if you're using your flashcard copy move feature in QImage, you can put it in there. If you don't want to, and you want to put it in later, you can put it in here, where it says D for description. That's going to be my keyword for this particular folder. If you have a creator thing that we discussed a moment ago, it goes into this box. Okay? There's one other place where you enter keywords or tag words. On each image, okay, on each individual image, you have a little thing with an eye. It's a button with an eye, okay? So if I clicked on this eye, I could give a tag word for this image. If I held down the control key and picked two or three images at one time, I could tag a whole bunch of images with the same word, like um, nighttime water or flying birds or whatever I wanted to put in here. So I can put it in a descriptor, okay? I would type in something like night scene or something like that, night water scene. It's up to you. It's, it's a tag word. Okay, enough on that one. Let's move on to the next phase. And this is going to be fun. Are you ready? Okay, now on to the actual search engine. A pair of binoculars. That's your searcher. Okay, you grab the binoculars, you give it a click, and here's our searching box. Now this is got a whole lot of buttons and a whole lot of screens and a whole lot of everything's in here but it's not really that much you see the words blinking here that's where it's inviting you to type something okay well I'm gonna type in train because I ha I know I have train pictures someplace and let's see if it can find it so I'm gonna put in train t-r-a-i-n okay then you click add which adds it to the bottom box why is that step necessary? Because you might have to put in more words. Y you might want it to search for two things like train and caboose or something like that. Okay, whatever you want to put in here. This is all strictly up to your tag words. Okay, now I'm looking for a folder, so I go here to folders. And look how fast it went, right? 
it found three folders. It found this one here that says Causeway Physical Trainer. Now, wait a minute, that's not a train, but the word train is in there, okay? And this one says Trains and Sunshine Skywat. Hmm, that's a typo. Well, no problem with that. All we have to do is change it, right? Skyway. Okay, so you can actually change or add or do anything you want right in this box, okay? And the last one it found is a copy of the first one. So one is on a C drive and one is on a D drive, okay? Now, if I want to see what's in this thing that it found, that's fine. I can click on uh, Train Sunshine. I can either double click it or I can click in the preview box. And there they are. Okay? It found my trains. Easy as pie. So that's one way we use this. Okay? That's using the folder description. Here's a back arrow. We go back to where we were. All right, let's go into this thing again. We're going to make another search, a little different kind of a search. This time we're going to look for a photo that we've given a name. Now, I I know I gave a, some photos a name, and it, it, I gave it Nurse because we have a beautiful statue down at the park at the waterfront of that famous uh, scene where the sailor is kissing the nurse at the end of World War II. So I have some shots of that, and I'm going to put in Nurse, okay? And these are the tag words that I put into this kind of a box here with the eye on it so it can find my pictures. Okay, and I'm also going to put in a picture. I'm looking for Marcia. She's a friend of my wife, and we're going to see if we can find a picture of her because she wants another copy make-believe okay so I got now I have two pictures two words in there and this time we're looking for photos okay so we give click on wow is that fast okay here's Marsha and there's the nurse and the and the sailor statue okay now that you have to admit was pretty fast and pretty neat okay hang on okay now you remember we clicked the little back arrow to go back where we were and now we're going to hit the binoculars again. We're going to do something just slightly different. I'm going to put in the word Stan, friend of mine, and see what happens. Okay? I'll show you a trick. Okay. Add the word. And now I'm going to tell it to find both. Folders, photos, or both. Okay? Look what it found. Okay? It found the word Stan, the tag word Stan, in a folder with Neffs in it, because he has a Nikon, and his Stan and Will at the Jetty, and Stan and Fred and Larry, and Stan Print, and look at this. You see this little squiggly here? That's called a tilde. That indicates that these two are pictures. Okay? So if I want to click on that and say Preview, in this folder I'll find that picture of Stan. Okay, that's the way it works. If I want to, this one, that'll be a folder with many, many pictures of Stan and other people and so on. But this picture of Stan, print Stan, is in this folder. Okay, I scroll down just to show you where we are. This, this one here that I'm pointing with the pointer on the left side, that's the picture that has a blue button, which tells me that's the one that says Stan inside. Okay. If you want to look at it, we can just click it, and there it says, Print Stan, okay? Now let's hit the back arrow again, get back where we were, and we're going to try something a little bit different now. I, I'm going to hit the binoculars, so we've got our search box open. Now, I trust this has happened to you too, but it's happened to me. Somebody will walk into the house, visit, friends, relative, whoever, and they see a certain print that they like very much. Oh, I'd love to hang this in my house. Can I have this? And I say, certainly, I can make more. Okay, well, that having been said, what was the number of that picture? I mean, where was it? Yeah, I know the number, but wh where, did, where was that? What folder was it? How many years ago was it? You know, this, this is becoming a little mystery. 
Well, I know the number of the picture was 7187 because I wrote the number on the back of the print. But where is it? What folder? Well, what we'll do is we'll put 7187 in here, okay, and we'll add it. But this time we're going to say find a file, okay? And look what it did. It brought up another box, a new box. And because the X is in this C colon box, that's the only drive it's going to search, okay? So let's see what it finds. Search now. And there it is, see? It found three places that that 7187 picture is located. And all I have to do is click Preview. And there it is. I know it's this picture because I took it. <laughs> okay. But 7187 will be down here someplace. It's probably less cropped than that. But okay, just to show you, I mean, there she is right there. there there's your 7187 number. Okay, let's click our arrow and go back again where we were. And I just want to explain that particular search is not searching the database. That search is searching the whole drive, whatever drive you tell it. Let's try that again just so I can point out what's happening. Okay, 7187. Okay, add. Now, when I click File, it says, where do you want to search? The C drive, the D drive? These you put in because obviously your drive letters, you might have external drives, you might have... Uh, the N is my, my DVD drive, okay? Now if I wanted to search everything, I just click everything and it would search everything. But in the meantime, uh, you add a folder by clicking here and finding the ones you want to stay here and they stay. They're fixed. It's very, very nice. Okay, now when I say search now, in that blink of an eye, it searched 6,027 files, and it found three with the 7187 in it. Okay, so you can see how fast this thing is really running. Okay, now let's see something else that happens to me all the time. Don't know if it happens to anybody else, but it happens to me. I'm looking for a certain picture or a folder. And I don't remember the tag word that I gave it. You know, like, did I call it waterfront? Did I call it water? Did I call it seashore? Did I call it bird? What did I call that thing? Well, here's what we do. This one says browse entire database. So I give that a click. And it found all the descriptor names that I put in. Okay. So let's scroll down a little bit, and you can see that I have a bunch of pictures and folders that say Alma. That's a restaurant, by the way. And there's a bunch with Causeway Bridge and so on and so forth. Now, if you notice, we're back to that tilde again. These are pictures with the keyword typed into that little button. Remember the little button, that this thing with the I? Okay. So if you see a tilde, you know that tag word is in the image itself. Otherwise, it's in the folder description. So we'll kind of scroll down some more. And you can see that it's picking up from the D drive. It's picking up more tildes. It's picking up more D drives and everything else. And look at those taglines. Marsh's birthday, old village, pano print. Okay. The I like the word print in the pictures I printed, so you'll see a lot of those that say print with the tilde, which means the print is inside the, the image, okay? All right, and we keep on going and so on and so forth, and you see that there's all these different tag words, okay? So in case you forgot what you used, you can scroll down and say, oh, yes, sailor and nurse. That's what I call that, that statue. I couldn't remember what it was. And that's a great big help, okay? Okay, and the last item, okay? Let's say you typed in a word and you spelled it wrong. Train, T-R-A-Y-N-E, okay? Well, you can, and you added it there and so on, and you say, oh, well. If you want to delete it, just give it a click so it's highlighted, hit the delete key on the keyboard, poof, gone. 
And that, my friend, is the whole story. I want you to have a lot of fun with this. It's a very valuable tool, and nobody has a database search like this in an image program. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.